How's it going everybody? Nice to see you. What we're going to work on, I'm GrogQ. Let's get that out of the way. I'm GrogQ. You know, subscribe, hit the notification bell, uh, become a member, do all that stuff. Um, I just started it on the capo. I wanted, just as sometimes I like the sound of the, the country is shout, sounding stuff on the capo, but since um, you guys are uh, maybe not, don't all have it, um, we'll do. Uh, what we're going to work on today is alternating picking during our regular chords that we like to do the, the G, the D, C, and the G. Um, one thing we want to learn today that maybe you don't all know is you probably all know a C like this, right? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the C the regular way. I think I'm going to pick up my ring finger and move it to the G and play it with my pinky. So the first thing you might want to do is, um, if you don't already know that chord, practice going between the G and the and that C. It's basically still a C chord, but it has a G in the bass. Um, because a, a chord is three, uh, a major chord has three notes in it, and so the G is in the chord, but it's just not the first note. So you've got, you're going to practice this start make sure you can get that all right so what we're going to do is we're going to alternate between the first two notes and we're going to start with the higher one we're going to start with the B so we're going to go um, I'm just going to show it to you and then we're going to work on it so what I'm doing is I'm picking just a single note on the way down so down with the pick and then strum down and up. So down. So if we want to do it just the rhythm, let's go, uh, let's start with this. So you're going to pick this string. You're going to pick the fifth string, second fret, sixth string, third fret. Let's not even play the chord now. Let's just do the rhythm. So we're going to go. So we're picking, down, up, picking, down, up, picking, down, up, picking. And we're alternating between those two. So we're going. the C we're going to pick the C which is the pinky right here on the third fret and the ring finger on the third fret and then we're going to go back to the G and then when we play the D it sounds easy but it's a little bit difficult because you're not going to be, you're just going to be playing the open D and the A. So you're going to be playing this, the open 4 and the open 5. So let's just do the single notes for a minute. So we're going to, we're, now we're going to do the chord. We're going to do it real slow. Because uh, pick on the way down. Got it. Now to the C. Five, six string. Fifth string, six string. Back to the G. Fifth string, sixth string, fifth string, sixth string. Now 
the D is the fourth string and the fifth string. And we're going to do it twice as long. And then we're going to go back to the G. Down, down, up, pick, down, up, pick, down, up, pick. I said you do it twice as long in the D, but you don't. I'll do the whole thing again through. Um, once again, this is not a song, so you know you can mess around with the order of it and, and how long you hold on each note. What we're really practicing is the alternate picking between the strings. And if you're really having trouble with it, you can just practice. Remember we did before how we, you know, just muffle the strings. So pick down a pick. Remember I showed you before how I like to hold my thumb on the uh, sixth string when I don't want to play it so it's muffled and that'll help you if you accidentally hit the string you're not going to hear it so you're going to if you're going to see I just have this leaning on the string it's not even pushing down Any questions okay so what you I mean you can do you can do a lot with that um, I might show you a couple things where you can transition in between so if you're gonna let's do this real slow too so if you have if, you, if you've already got that then you can go ahead and move on but if, if you haven't got that part yet why don't you skip this and, and come back to it later but you can go That's G, third string, open string, second fret, third fret. So you're doing a little walk up to the C. And then walk down. Some, I'm not in the right fingering there, but let's do that again to walk down. So we're here in the C. And the reason I'm doing that with that finger is because it's already there and it makes it easier. But then I'm going to switch back to the G position. Second fret, walk up, walk back down.
and like I've said in so many of my other videos, a lot of these things are showing you the basics and the fun part is making stuff up so you know remember you've got your hammer-ons and your pull-offs and you've got my, the old rhythms that I've taught you before so you could go you could hammer on to that just you know to go over it if, if it's something that's hard for you to do stick stick with the beginning of the video and stick with the rhythm of it stick with it because it's hard it's hard to pick that one string and then do the strum the thing is is that you don't really have to worry about it because it's not going to sound wrong if you have the chord down correct it's not going to sound bad if you hit the wrong note on the pick down because if you like like I'm going to mess it up Still, the rhythm's still there, and I'm not, as long as I got the rhythm right, I can practice that alternating picking. See, I messed it up, but it still, it sounds okay, and then you move to the D, back to the G. little lesson for you um you can ask me some questions in the comments if you want to um i'm gonna do some more things i know i've been talking a while about doing a uh a uh lessons video um 101 i want to start a uh, a series of you know picking up the guitar and learning from scratch but the truth is is i don't want to um I don't want to start releasing that until I have several under my belt because I want to make sure that um, I get to release them on a on a regular basis. So once I get three or four of them done, I'm going to start releasing them once a week, the uh, the Guitar 101 series. And the first episode I already know is it's it's mostly done is going to just be um, stuff you need to start playing. So there's not going to be a whole lot of lesson in the first one, even though I don't want you to skip it. But I'm going to talk about things like, you know, getting picks and, um, you know, making sure you got your, got a tuner or someone close by that knows how to tune a guitar and stuff like that. But that'll be uh, the next thing coming. I appreciate you guys um, sticking with me. Uh, I've got some members here. I'm pretty sure you can read it. I've got Sunflower Girl, Ted O'Sullivan, Jared Camarada. I like to thank you guys. Um, anybody can join my channel for $1.99 a month. Basically, you get the great perks of me saying your name. Um, I don't have a whole lot of tiers of it. I, it's just one tier. It's it's $1.99. And uh, it's just to help me out to, you know, make, make sure I can make everything better and upgrade my equipment and do that kind of stuff. I'm a... Uh, Try not to invest a huge amount of money into this until I see see where it goes money wise. Um, so the more money, more problems. <laughs> Whatever. No, that's not my point. More money, you know, more quality. I guess. Um, I'm rambling on, so I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye. Thanks again to my subscribers, and thanks again for my notification bell people, and. Uh, I will see you soon. Have a good one.